How's it? And you can't wait to Oxsports.com. It's on Tuesday, January 3rd, as we get this video to you. Uh, happy 2023. Hope you have a wonderful 2023 season. And uh, not just season, but overall year. As uh, this is our 19th year of Indian Cowboy and Arun Shiva and Doc Sports has been around for 53 years. It's been around a long time. The algorithms for Indian Cowboy, I should say, have been around for uh, 19 years. So, uh, hello, I'm Indian Cowboy and this is Doc Sports. And uh, I have a doctorate in the Masters in Biostatistics. That's how these algorithms work. Our best selections over at DocSports.com under Arun Shiva. Our next best selections are our YouTube premium selections where we give you two extra thoughts every single day. And uh, free $60 for the premium selections on the link below pinned to the comment section at the top. And uh, if you want even more content, hop on to our Twitter. It has our consensus reports, our trends and late night ballgames, and our hot takes on sports as well. Uh, what do I need to tell you? Well, uh, your free selection today is going to be between, uh, let's give it to you between the Utah State Utah State and Air Force in just a second. And then uh, I will give you a lean as well on uh, the Milwaukee Bucks game. Though I'm starting to have my, my you know, we'll talk about the Bucks game. But I'll give you a lean on the Bucks game as well. YouTube Premium is going to be between the Sacramento Kings as they hook up against the Utah Jazz. Uh, and the other lean is going to be on New Mexico and Fresno State as well. I uh, hope you guys are doing great, and uh, what do I need to tell you here? Well, we come off back-to-back -back winners in college basketball. We come off an unbelievable call on Rutgers yesterday, plus the 8.5 against Purdue on the road, and uh, that was a 16 to play, and then uh, we they ended up winning outright, uh, which is pretty awesome. So hopefully we'll have another successful day in college basketball. Back-to-back -back winners, that was on the heels of a, a Butler route in Georgetown, so back-to-back -back winners in college ball. We'll try to make it three in a row today. NBA, we fell short yesterday. Hockey, we're looking forward to post a winner today. Back-to-back uh, -to -back winning seasons in hockey. NFL, we're going to do something different this week, changing some things around. And uh, I will be uh, giving out football leans between the days of Thursday all the way through Monday. But I'm going to give it to you well in advance on uh, the Thursday morning video um, because we finalized the card on Wednesday night. So uh, I'll be doing that for you. Um, we're going to change it up. I think we're going to go 3-2, and 4-1, and one, or 5-0. and oh. I think we're going to have a really good football week, fingers crossed. Uh, if you want even more content, hop onto our Twitter as well. It has our consensus reports, our trends in late night ball games, and our hot takes on sports, as I discussed. Um, as it relates to Air Force, you know, the question here is how much do you really trust Air Force here? The thing is that Utah State is twelve and two, and Air Force is nine and six. Utah State won eighty three to fifty six last year. Ryan Odom's team won eighteen games uh, last season, and they are twelve and two this year. Utah State's a good team. There's no doubt about that. And keep in mind that, but they do have Boise State on deck, and they just beat Washington State. Air Force, Air Force though, comes off their first back-to-back -back losses of the year. They gave up a season-high number of points in Nevada, 80-plus points. I think they'll be highly motivated. Joe Scott's team has really improved a lot this year. Uh, in two years, they beat this team, you know, by 27 points last year. Utah State, it's Air Force has a lot of motivation coming in. I think Air Force does great here, and I think they hang tough today um, against... Um, and it's a good public fade too. So, you know, keep in mind that Air Force is 8-1 ATS in the last nine games overall, and I think they hang tough. I also like, um, I like Milwaukee, but the line is going the other way, so it kind of makes me a little weary. But Milwaukee just got trucked by this team in immediate revenge. 118-95 is how bad they lost. Washington jumped all over this team, 34-17. They were up by the end of the first quarter. Washington has won four in a row. Some big wins against Milwaukee, Orlando, Phoenix, and uh, Philadelphia, and Sacramento. Um, but Giannis and Holiday are supposed to be back this game. And given the fact that they got destroyed in their last game, I think they'll be motivated to play well this game. Milwaukee is 4-1 ATS at home. They just didn't have two of their stars playing. And, of course, Middleton is still out. And uh, I think they'll bounce back from a blowout from last night's game. So I will lean. And the Wizards are still 9-19 ATS against teams uh, with a winning record. So lean on Milwaukee. YouTube premium is between Sacramento and Utah and New Mexico and Fresno State. I have that for you in just about five minutes. Hope you guys do well. Please take a moment to like and subscribe, and I'll see you back here tomorrow. YouTube Premium, I'll see you in five minutes. And by the way, nice YouTube Premium winner yesterday. We gave you two winners yesterday. We gave you the Liberty and the Sixers. We are now on a 3-0, and 8-1, 14-3, 40-and-14 run on YouTube Premium, which is 74%, which is insanity. Uh, so we hope to continue to provide uh, great YouTube Premium thoughts as well. See you back here tomorrow. Take care.